Raise your hand if you can truly say that you believe in superheroes. Film and TV present heroes to be unrealistic, godlike people, but in reality, they're right in front of us all our lives and are just ordinary, and we don't even realise that they're there. For me, my heroes are my parents, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Now, when you actually take the time to think about it, heroes and parents actually have a lot in common. They both have a tragic backstory. Now, I'm 100% sure that none of your parents have had their planets blow up or anything like that. But for example, my mum had a real rough patch. And just the fact that she's brought herself out of that and is the person that she is today makes me just so proud to call her my mum. And that's why she's one of my heroes. Another reason why is that they both have a hamasha, which is a fatal flaw. Now, when you actually think about it, we are our parents' weaknesses. We are their kryptonite. They love us so much, they care about us that much that if we're happy, they're happy. If we're sad, they're sad. We, we break them down, we make them weak. We are their weakness. They also have an alter ego. Now, to us, they're mum and dad. But then they go to work and they're miss, missus, doctors, gas engineers, travel agents. Like, they're completely different people. It's, it's just weird. It's like, we don't even know them. And they also have real powers. Now, when I was four, my dad could pick me up. He had super strength, which obviously he can't still do now. <laughs> and he also has super speed, because no matter where I am, whether it be picking me up from school or me standing here giving a speech, he is always there on time to watch me and is never late, which is why he's one of my heroes. So the next time that you watch a film or in a TV show and you think, wow, the character is so brave to be where they are, you should turn and look at your parents and just remember who is really there to save your life every day because not all heroes wear capes. Oh.